Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 100 songs of all time. For this list, we're looking at the most acclaimed, influential, and undeniable recordings ever. We are only including English language tracks that aren't instrumentals or from musicals like The Wizard of Oz. Did we forget one of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Number 100, Smoke on the Water, Deep Purple. Come on, man. It's one of the first riffs every guitar player learns for a good reason. Smoke on the Water is also the most famous Deep Purple track, combining great storytelling with a wonderful foundation from guitarist Richie Blackmore. Ian Gillen sings out a tale about a live show that went terribly wrong. Putting the event into musical lore, the band serves up an inviting tune that is almost impossible to get out of your head. The group helped to usher in hard rock, and this particular single helped remind people of their important impact on the classic rock era. Number 99, One More Time, Daft Punk. One more time. Daft Punk was an iconic electronic duo that constantly outdid themselves. Off of their album Discovery, the single One More Time represents all of their musical impulses rolled into one slick composition. There's only a handful of songs that are as insanely catchy in the electronic dance genre. Showing that all you need is a thrilling hook and a few words, this boils down to the essence of the songwriting of Thomas Bangalter and Guy Manuel de Omen Cristo. Many have tried to chase their production style on this hit in particular, and few have ever come close to matching it. Number 98, Bad Romance, Lady Gaga. Where would pop music in the 21st century be without the contributions of Lady Gaga? Without her guiding energy, audiences would be deprived of mega hits like Bad Romance. It's both self-assured and full of attitude in the best possible way. Gaga mixes together her diverse influences into a perfect pop record. Her unique vocalizations are second to none, proving that she has a voice to rival any of her contemporaries. I don't wanna be Blends dance and electronic elements that sound futuristic even by today's standards. It's almost impossible to listen to this song and not take her seriously as an artist. Number 97, Losing My Religion, REM. the 1980s crafting college rock and jangle pop, R.E.M. changed course and found the mainstream with the folksy Losing My Religion. The single was a major breakout for a band that earned their success without compromising their sound. That's me in the corner That's me in the spot Like losing my religion 
Michael Stipe's one-of-a-kind voice gives this piece an intriguing and mystifying quality that keeps audiences enthralled for each replay, along with Peter Buck's mandolin. This essential element combines for a song that helped to build the 1990s alternative movement. It also signaled that the group was heading in many more interesting directions before the decade was through. I thought that I heard you laughing. Number 96, Dancing in the Street, Martha and the Vandellas. Dancing in the Street is one of the finer works to ever come out of early Motown. It was made famous by Martha Reeves and the Vandellas in what became a treasure trove of vocal talent. This includes an impressive array of instruments, including a killer horn section that introduces the song. The group's version was recorded in 1964, but they weren't the only ones to try their hand at this classic. Many popular acts from the 1960s and beyond tried to replicate the single's magic. Its true potential hasn't been matched, with this recording having a profound impact on R&B and pop culture in general. Number 95, In the End, Linkin Park. It starts with one. I don't know why, it doesn't even matter how hard you try. Helping to legitimize the genre known as new metal. Linkin Park paved their own way with a cocktail of rap and rock. Their initial sound was never represented as well as on In The End. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. The sizzling track defies expectations with its powerful musicality. Mike Shinoda sets up verses that keep listeners on their toes, while Chester Bennington makes a case for his place alongside the best vocalists of his generation. There's also a nuanced message within the lyrics, and the band succeeds in plotting out an ambitious set of words. From the unforgettable chorus to the underrated bridge, this song is much more than a dose of 2000s nostalgia. I had to fall to lose it all, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. Number 94, Crazy, Patsy Cline. Crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. Written by Willie Nelson, the song Crazy is a standard popularized by world-class singer Patsy Cline. Along with being a great track on its own, the piece worked as an important step in bridging the gap between pop and country music. You love me as long as you want it. vocals have a profound resonance and an amazing tone to them. She delivers notes like nobody else could, in a piece about feeling a certain way about a special someone. The composition still remains in the public consciousness, transcending its initial release as a certifiable classic in every way. At the very least, it's a reminder of the performer's artistry before her untimely death. Crazy. Number 93, I Want It That Way, Backstreet Boys. Yeah. In a career full of ballads, the Backstreet Boys managed to elevate their genre beyond the stereotypes dished out by their harshest critics. I Want It That Way is an essential glimpse into the music that conquered the late 1990s and early 2000s. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a
single recounts universal themes about love and relationships. The lyrics might not be Shakespeare, but they do encapsulate an important time period for millennial audiences. You can argue over which boy band was the best, but it's undoubtedly clear that this group brought out some of the most effective harmonies of the era. Tell me why. Number 92, Seven Nation Army, The White Stripes. Jack and Meg White carved out a special place for themselves in the alternative scene, but this particular single transcended any one rock subgenre. Seven Nation Army makes the case that a rock duo can hit as hard as any four piece band. In a Built around a steady drumbeat and a solid riff, the track sneaks up on listeners with its minimalism. Everything pushes forward until a cathartic chorus that seals the deal with its electric rage. With White's reliably awesome songwriting, it's easy to see how this became one of the go-to chants in stadiums around the world. <laughs> Number 91, Killing Me Softly with his song, Roberta Flack. Stopping my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his words, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly with his song. Roberta Flack recorded many soul classics in her day, although it's hard not to count this as her true masterpiece. She gives this cover of Killing Me Softly with his song an incredible performance that feels like it's coming directly from her heart. Flack is a masterful artist in many ways, including knowing just the right way to accentuate certain words. Killing me softly with this song, killing me softly with this song, telling my whole career would have still been successful without the song, but nowhere near as rewarding or iconic. The Grammy-winning number one single also inspired the likes of future legends such as Lauryn Hill and her group, Fugees. Number 90, London Calling, The Clash. The title song from The Clash's album London Calling finds the band at a musical crossroads. They hadn't lost their punk edge while exploring different influences that arguably enhanced their sound in the late 1970s. London Calling, now don't look to us. Phony Beatlemania is putting the dust. A building guitar part leads into Joe Strummer's snarling vocal. He lets out each and every note with a determined attitude, embracing the end of a turbulent decade for music. A nuclear arrow, but I have no fear, cause London is down and I, I live by the river. Strummer and his fellow group members show that they haven't forgotten any of their passion for playing or their interest in political anthems. Saying goodbye to one era and welcoming another, the band presents a single worthy of their most energized compositions. Number 89, Get Your Freak On, Missy Elliott. Is your women now? Then biggie, biggie bounce. I know you dig the way I switch my style. Holla, holla. People sing around. Now people gather around. Now people jump around. Number 88, Uptown Funk, Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars. Don't believe me, just watch. Come on. Number 87, Last Night, The Strokes. Last night, she said, I feel so bad, I feel Number 86, Someone Like You, Adele. Never mind, I'll find someone like you.
Number 85, American Idiot, Green Day. Don't want to be an American Idiot. Don't want a nation under the new media. Green Day entered the 2000s ready to reclaim their positions as the rulers of pop punk. With the single American Idiot, the band brought back their punk rock edge with a political statement for George W. Bush's America. Singer Billy Joe Armstrong doesn't waste any time in declaring his real feelings about the direction of the country. He and his fellow bandmates light up the track with their dedication creating a chaotic and angry sound in their wake. This song and the adjoining record spoke to a generation of disaffected citizens, especially young people in the first decade of the 21st century. It also launched several years of world tours and a renewed interest in the band overall. Number 84, 99 Problems, Jay-Z. Number 83, California Dreamin', The Mamas and the Papas. I stopped into a church, so I passed along the way. Well, I got down on my knees. Number 82, Blinding Lights, The Weeknd. Number 81, Gangsta's Paradise, Coolio featuring LV. Number 80, High and Dry, Radiohead. By their second album, The Benz, Radiohead had already achieved international acclaim for their own interpretation of alternative rock. High and Dry is a track that finds the group in a more intimate and vulnerable space. Before their future endeavors with experimental music, the band became Britpop masters with this heartfelt single. Tom York's vocals are reliably effective in a moving song that once again shows off his idiosyncratic tone. Their ability to take a standard concept and imbue it with emotionality continues to amaze, with each member providing layer after layer of subtle instrumentations. <laughs> Number 79, Take Me Home, Country Roads, John Denver. Dark and dusty, painted on the sky. Misty taste of moonshine, she drops in my eyes. Country roads, take me home to the place I belong. Number 78, Living on a Prayer, Bon Jovi. We got each other in that. Number 77, Californication, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Psychic spies from China try to steal your mind's elation. And little girls from Sweden dream of silver screen quotation. And if you want these kind of dreams, it's Californication. Number 76, Welcome to the Jungle, Guns N' Roses. Jungle, Number 75, Both Sides Now, Joni Mitchell. Tears and fears and feeling proud to say I love you right out loud. Dreams and schemes and circus crowds, oh, I've looked at life that way. 
Known as one of the most superb singer-songwriters of any generation, Canadian artist Joni Mitchell only needs an acoustic guitar to get her point across. Both sides now might be the pinnacle of her work as a writer, even more so than other highlights like Big Yellow Taxi. Don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you've got till it's gone. The day paradise put up a parking lot. This song speaks to a feeling deep within all of us that begs to understand and be understood. Indelible details and references show up at every turn of this folk track, beckoning listeners to come back for seconds. Her expressive voice is anything but ordinary and creates an entirely original foundation. Mitchell never stops exploring the human condition, boiling down the mysteries of life into a glorious creation. Number 74, Born to Run, Bruce Springsteen. Sunday girl, I don't know when we're gonna get to that place. We really wanna go. We'll walk in the sun. Run to that trap side dust. Baby, we were born to run. Number 73, Johnny B. Good, Chuck Berry. Number 72, Back to Black, Amy Winehouse. We only said goodbye with words. I died a hundred times. You go back to her and I go back to Number 71, Fire and Rain, James Taylor. I've been walking my mind to an easy time with my back turned towards the sun. Lord knows when the cold wind blows, it'll turn your head around now. Number 70, Oops, I Did It Again, Britney Spears. <laughs> Britney Spears appeared fully formed as a pop star in the late 1990s, taking the following decade by storm with her confidence. This massive single was one of the reasons that the superstar became an idol for younger music fans. In connection with an iconic music video, this track helped shape the cultural landscape with a catchy chorus that's still quoted to this day. Spears' voice and singular artistry create a package that's impossible to forget. Starting off the 2000s with a bang, the singer takes control of her narrative with a strong follow-up to Baby One More Time. Number 69, Layla, Derek and the Dominoes. Number 68, Hey Ya, Outcast. Number 67, Killing in the Name, Rage Against the Machine. So my goals that work forces, for the same that work crosses. Number 66, You Oughta Know, Alanis Morissette. Number 65, Jesus Walks, Kanye West. We are war. We are war with terrorism. Racism. Kanye West is a controversial and polarizing figure, but separating art from artist, this track finds him in top form as a musician. West started his solo career with a slew of instant classics, including this triumphant release. Jesus Walks summarizes his musical skills in a dynamic mixture of styles. My mama used to say only Jesus could save us. Well, mama, I know I act a fool, but I'll be gone to November. I got to move. I hope. 
features his signature flow, unmistakable lyrics, and a production value that sets him apart from contemporary rappers. West's elaborate vision comes through in a brilliant track, never compromising its sound for one second. After this successful single from the college dropout, the performer went on to such other achievements as the samples from Diamonds from Sierra Leone or the introspection of Runaway. Run away from the baby. Number 64, Dream On, Aerosmith. Number 63, Where the Streets Have No Name, U2. Number 62, Cream, Wu-Tang Clan. Neglected, but now I'm a joke. It got to be accepted. The what? The life is hectic. Cash moves everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. Number 61, Dancing Queen, ABBA. You are the dancing queen. Number 60, Welcome to the Black Parade, My Chemical Romance. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. MCR released their record Welcome to the Black Parade and changed emo forever. The band built a loyal following in the years leading up to this achievement, all of whom fell in love with their use of rock subgenres. Gerard Way pushes the envelope in terms of singing, shuffling between marching music and all-out chaos. His theatrical lyrics suit the overall production in a no-holds-barred creation. Way and the band shift gears into a hard rock section to showcase their expertise in rocking the competition to smithereens. No paint is left on the palette, as the group brings it all together in a cathartic ending. Number 59, Lose Yourself, Eminem. Mama love you, but this trail has got to go. I cannot go old in Salem's lot. So here I go, it's my shot. Feet fail me not. This may be the only opportunity that I got. You better lose yourself in the music. The moment you own it, you better never let it go. Number 58, California Love. Tupac featuring Dr. Dre and Roger Troutman. Say what you say, but give me that ball beat from Dre. Let me serenade the streets of LA. Number 57, Champagne Supernova, Oasis. Number 56, I Will Survive, Gloria Gaynor. Number 55, Best of You, Foo Fighters. Are you coming on to someone new? I needed somewhere to hang my head without your news. Coming off of the album In Your Honor, the single Best of You has all of the intensity you could want from a Foo Fighters song. Dave Grohl's visceral lyrics explore a universal feeling of being weighed down by it all. Never half-baked behind the microphone, Grohl yells his lines in a performance that becomes more passionate by the minute. Number 
bandmates rock their instruments into oblivion, with drummer Taylor Hawkins deserving particular mention hitting the drums as hard as his frontman ever did back in the day. Hawkins rolls his way into 2000s rock history. The group makes one of their most emotional statements here, with The Pretender and Everlong following close behind for their excellent production value. Number 54, Master of Puppets, Metallica. Number 53, One Love, People Get Ready, Bob Marley and the Wailers. One love, hear the children crying. One heart, saying give thanks and praise to the Lord. Number 52, Don't Stop Believin', Journey. You took the midnight travel, beware, beware. Number 51, Time After Time, Cindy Lauper. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be where we waiting. Time after time. Number 50, Staying Alive, Bee Gees. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. The Bee Gees took over disco and became one of the most successful proponents in the late 1970s proving the genre had traction with singles like Stayin' Alive. Its groovy introduction immediately sets the tone with a funky riff. Barry Gibb harmonizes with his super-talented brothers, taking the lead with his formidable falsetto. Starting off the film Saturday Night Fever, the track's place in the annals of pop culture history is undeniable. John Travolta received the ultimate soundtrack for his famous strut down the New York streets. Slick and endlessly listenable, it is an instant pick-me-up with its positive beat. Number 49, I Got You, I Feel Good, James Brown. I feel nice, sugar I feel nice. Number 48, My Heart Will Go On, Celine Dion. Number 47, Jolene, Dolly Parton. Number 46, September, Earth, Wind and Fire. Number 45, All Right, Kendrick Lamar. Oh, it's my life, ah, uh, hard times like, yeah, bad trips like, yeah, Nazareth, I'm f***ed up, homie, you f***ed up, but if God got us, then we go be all right. In the 2010s, Kendrick Lamar hit the mainstream with his personal brand of hip-hop. His 2015 album To Pimp a Butterfly and its single All Right might be the pinnacle of his career in terms of artistic freedom coming together with an incisive political message. I can see the evil, I can tell it, I know it's illegal, I don't think about it, I deposit every other zero, thinking of my partner, put the candy, painting on a Rico, digging in my pocket, ain't a profit big enough to feed you every day, my logic, get another dollar just to keep you in the presence of your chico, ah! It contains an infectious rhythm that mixes perfectly with Lamar's frenetic flow. After
After hearing his incredibly candid set of words and eclectic rhymes, there's no doubting the artist's status as a premier songwriter. The track's status as a profound anthem for disenfranchisement and injustice remains unquestioned all these years later. We gon' be alright, do you hear me, do you feel me, we gon' be alright. Number 44, Purple Haze, The Jimi Hendrix Experience. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. Number 43, I Feel the Earth Move, Carol King. I just got to have you, baby, 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 hey, yeah, yeah. I feel the earth move under my feet. I feel the sky tumbling down, a tumbling down. Number 42, Like a Prayer, Madonna. Number 41, Lean On Me, Bill Withers. Lean on me when you're not strong And I'll be your friend I'll help you carry on Number 40, Comfortably Numb, Pink Floyd. Hello Pink Floyd ended the 1970s with another masterpiece entitled The Wall. The concept album includes the epic Comfortably Numb, an emotional trip through the thoughts of a troubled rock star. Roger Waters establishes the mood with his haunting and sinister verses, giving way to David Gilmour's angelic choruses that bring together the nuances of the main character's inner struggles. The track also allows for Gilmore to create two incredible guitar solos on top of a compelling story. This could be considered the high watermark for the whole record, while the cultural impact of Another Brick in the Wall Part 2 can't go unmentioned either. Number 39, Juicy, The Notorious B.I.G. Lunches, brunches, interviews by the pool, considered a fool cause I dropped out of high school. Stereotypes of a black male misunderstood, and it's still all good, uh. And if you don't know, now you know. Number 38, Bridge Over Troubled Water, Simon and Garfunkel. I'm Number 37, Georgia On My Mind, Ray Charles. This old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. Number 36, Single Ladies Put a Ring on It, Beyonce. Cause you had your turn, and now you're gonna learn what it really feels like to miss me. Cause if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Number 35, War Pigs, Black Sabbath. After War Pigs starts off Black Sabbath's album Paranoid, you cannot help but feel converted to the world of heavy metal. Arguments abound about the originators of the genre, but few ever did it better than this band on this particular song. Some people consider these kinds of groups boneheaded for their loud music without actually listening to their ingenious lyrics. Ozzy Osbourne sings about rebelling against warmongering and draft boards in mature and imaginative phrases that haven't lost their luster. The opening lines feel like the start of an opera or a film in both their scope and sound. Powered by one of the better quartets in rock history, this protest record digs deep and legitimizes metal as an art form.
Number 34, My Way, Frank Sinatra. And the new way of one who kneels, the wicked show, I took the blow and did it my way. Number 33, My Girl, The Temptations. Well, I guess you say what would can make me feel this way. Number 32, Proud Mary, Ike and Tina Turner. Number 31, Space Oddity, David Bowie. Number 30, Dreams, Fleetwood Mac. Now there you go again, you say, you want your freedom. Well, who am I to keep you down? In a band full of extraordinary musicians and songwriters, Stevie Nicks might very well be the heart of Fleetwood Mac. Her list of awesome compositions includes this single from the acclaimed album Rumors. This doesn't discredit her other evocative tracks like Landslide, which could easily be on this list. But time is bolder, children get older, I'm getting older too. Dreams finds Nick's in pristine form as a vocalist, serving up a set of lyrics that turn a relationship into an especially cinematic composition. Have you it? use of thunder and rain as a motif is one of a handful of spectacular choices for this classic. It's perhaps the most mature and daring moment on a record known for its heartbreaking creation, inviting audiences to frequently return to it for guidance. Number 29, Strange Fruit, Billie Holiday. Black bodies swinging the southern breeze, strange fruit hanging from the poplar tree. Number 28, Purple Rain, Prince and the Revolution. Say you want to lead up, but you can't seem to make up your mind. Say you better close it up, maybe you better close it up. Let the Lord guide you, let him guide you through the purple rain. Number 27, Hotel California, Eagles. Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place, such a lovely place, such a lovely place. Number 26, Stand By Me, Ben E. King. In Number 25, Feeling Good, Nina Simone. And I'm feeling good. When Nina Simone sang a song, she gave it everything she had. She takes this jazzy number and turns it into much more than a show tune. Simone's artistry transcended the confines of any singular genre or musical point of view, bringing her virtuoso instincts to this dramatic number. There's not one false move at any point in this staggering recording. The depth and true character of her voice really come across in a track that is forever associated with her. Stars, when you shine, you know how I feel. Send out the pine, you know how I feel. Many artists from Flo Rida to Kanye West have borrowed from this version in particular, reminding the younger generation of the singer's influence on modern music. I'm feeling good. 
Number 24, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, Otis Redding. Sitting in the morning sun, I'll be sitting when the evening comes. Number 23, Be My Baby, The Ronettes. You know I will adore you till eternity. I don't want you to be my, my, my baby. Number 22, What a Wonderful World, Louis Armstrong. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Number 21, Gimme Shelter, The Rolling Stones. Number 20, Superstition, Stevie Wonder. A career of incredible work, Superstition finds Stevie Wonder at a crossroads of funk, R&B, and pop majesty. It's hard to argue against its effervescent energy and the strategic use of a clavinet. The song punctuates the brilliance of his early 1970s period, making for one of his most crowd-pleasing singles. You believe in things you don't understand and you suffer This track shot to number one in the U.S. with its inventive lyrical content that explores much more than the usual topics of love. Wonder always brings a sense of joy and spirit to any of his recordings. This ranks among his most engaging productions. Number 19, God Only Knows, The Beach Boys. I may not always love you, but I stay the Beach Boys cultivated a wide range of summertime hits in the 1960s, but their album Pet Sounds rewrote the rules of pop music forever. Among an incredible list of work on the record, God Only Knows stands out as the most heartbreaking and musically sophisticated track. The world could Brian Wilson's ingenious arrangements and Carl Wilson's lead vocals combine for a beautifully melancholic song. The bold recording trades the usual rock instruments for a string section to rival any classic piece. Brian Wilson's unquestionable genius is personified on this lovingly crafted recording, inspiring a legion of musicians to dream bigger. Number 18, Fight the Power, Public Enemy. Public Enemy's place in hip hop history was solidified with the release of Fight the Power. Created for the film Do the Right Thing, this record features all the best ingredients of an incredible protest song. Fight the power. It has a funky rhythm and fantastic samples to rival any rap single of its day. This doesn't compromise its message either, containing an honest and political consciousness that follows in a tradition of civil rights anthems. Hype man Flavor Flav keeps the energy high as Chuck D lays down a series of powerful verses, coinciding with the movie's energy. There are few hip-hop groups that could better depict the struggles of 1980s New York or the racial divide in American society. Number 17, What's Going On, Marvin Gaye. artists could speak to their audiences with as much vulnerability as Marvin Gaye. Perhaps his finest accomplishment as a writer was What's Going On, the title track to a concept album full of incredible observations. Gaye's soulful masterstroke creates inviting rhythms that support his universal question. Me, 
This song tracks the singer's feelings on everything from war to racism with pinpoint accuracy. His musings on life are so effective that they still have resonance many generations later, never wavering or fading to induce tears in listeners. The beauty of the release defined a decade of impressive music to follow. Number 16, Blowin' in the Wind, Bob Dylan. How many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? Among the most lauded writers of 20th century music, Bob Dylan's lyrical mastery will be remembered forever. Blowin' in the Wind is just one example of his genius. Written during his early folk period, the song presents an important philosophical question for the 1960s. His rich metaphors question the nature of conflict and humanity on their most basic level. The answer, my friend, is a blowin' in the wind. The answer is blowin' in the wind. Dylan's way with words never ceases to amaze or provoke thought, using every syllable to its fullest potential. Some would rather choose his later single, Like a Rolling Stone, to talk about his generational impact. How does it feel? How does it feel? But the endless influence that stems from this record deserves just as much attention. Number 15, Straight Outta Compton, N.W.A. N.W.A. created their own landscape with the title track off of Straight Outta Compton. This electric song and the album of the same name generated a wave of hip-hop in Los Angeles, setting the tone for gangster rap's rise to power. Ice Cube starts off the first verse like he's been waiting his whole life to let people know his truth, not mincing words or censoring himself in any way. The lyrics discuss the reality of being black in America and combat the racial inequalities that still hold true today. Produced by various group members, including Dr. Dre, the furiousness of this song has no equal. Number 14, Your Song, Elton John. I don't have much money, but boy, if I did, I buy a big house where we both could live. Elton John and Bernie Toppin began their musical partnership in the late 1960s and became household names within a few years. Their collaboration on Your Song shows that they were destined to work together, showing off the magical connection between music and lyrics. Toppin's efforts express the finer details of a love letter in ways that few artists ever could. Heightening the impact of these words, John expands upon the romantic quality of the composition in his vocals. A particular highlight of the track comes with his articulation of a line about eye color. You see, I've forgotten if they're green or they're blue. Anyway, the thing is, what I really mean. The I've ever seen. It's all even more exceptional when considering that this was just the beginning of the duo's journey together, later creating fantastic follow-ups such as Rocket Man. And nothing is gonna be a long, long time. Touchdown brings me round, I get to find. I'm not the man that think I am at home. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a rocket man. Number 13, A Change Is Gonna Come, Sam Cooke. I was born by the river In a little tent Oh, and just like the river I've been running Every since Sam Cooke was never better or more perfect for a piece than A Change Is Gonna Come. His greatness extends throughout every note in the song, especially in his articulation of each riveting word. The track became associated with the civil rights movement in 1960s America. It is both a beacon of hope for a brighter future and a deeply felt message for change. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know 
Hook was no stranger to hits, but this single strikes a chord that can't be found on any Billboard list or written review. He's also accompanied by a brilliant string arrangement that heightens the mood and takes an already wonderful song to another plane of existence. Oh, Number 12, I Walk the Line, Johnny Cash. I keep a close watch on this heart of mine. I keep my eyes wide open all the time. Johnny Cash was a country legend that played by his own rules. His song, I Walk the Line, culls together his own philosophy with a deep voice that separated him from his contemporaries. Cash stands alone as an artist of indomitable spirit and tenacity, establishing himself as an enviable songwriter in this track. For you I know I'd even try to turn the tide Because you're mine <laughs> Walk the line He practically creates a genre all his own with his inviting vocals and steady beat to match. There's no denying this work's place among his finest recordings, ranking alongside the likes of Folsom Prison Blues and Ring of Fire. But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die When I hear that whistle blowing I hang my head and cry. His subtle and poetic ways seep out of this production and reveal a man that's much more than the cowboy stereotype. Uh, all right. Number 11, At Last, Etta James. At last. Last starts with one of the most unforgettable lines ever. With Etta James at the helm, the song instantly achieved iconic status for her interpretation of them. She efficiently captures the amazing feeling of finding the right person and falling in love with them. As a burst of pure happiness and affection, this recording never fails to bring up warm and fuzzy feelings. I found a dream that I could speak to. James doesn't always get the attention of other stellar voices of the 1950s and 60s, but this performance quickly reminds everyone of her magnitude. Her invaluable contributions to blues, soul, and R&B all exist within this track's DNA. Number 10, Imagine, John Lennon. Imagine there's no heaven John Lennon's most profound statement as a solo artist captures a global audience with its thematic richness. It still endures long after its 1971 release, provoking thought and criticism for its bold ideas. Lennon's lyrics pine for a future without war or poverty, among other things, that divide humanity. Imagine all the people His captivating songwriting and the accompanying piano part provide a snapshot of another world, daring to dream of something beyond the typical social structures we have in modern life. The song has its fair share of opponents, but the true impact of the track continues to influence generations of listeners. I hope someday you'll join us. Number 9, Respect, Aretha Franklin. What you want? Baby, I got it. Nobody sings like Aretha Franklin, and there's arguably no greater example of her unprecedented vocals than on Respect. Adapting Otis Redding's original track for a new audience, Franklin recorded her own version in 1967, and it became her defining release. Her tone and range are one in a million on a song that allows her to infuse all of her capabilities into a raw performance. spells the title with the intensity of a shooting star, catapulting herself to the top of the charts in a pivotal era in American history. 
It's fair to say that there were female singers before and after her, with few coming close to her genius on this cover. Number 8. Stairway to Heaven, Led Zeppelin There's a lady shoe All the glitters is gold And she's buying the stairway to heaven Led Zeppelin remixed blues riffs and brought them into the late 1960s and 70s. Their atmospheric tale, Stairway to Heaven, is often considered the jewel in their crown, combining their love for their early rock influences and mystical lyrics. It all plays out like a dense film with twists and turns courtesy of Robert Plant's compelling voice. If there's a bus in your head, troll, don't be alone, man. Page starts everything off with one of the most well-known arpeggios in guitar, later transitioning into an entrancing riff and solo. The combination of these two performers, along with the underrated efforts of John Paul Jones and precise drumming of John Bonham, is an example of a grandiose track that rides the line and succeeds. <laughs> Number 7. Can't Help Falling in Love, Elvis Presley Wise men say only fools rush in. Elvis Presley is often known as the king of rock and roll, but is sometimes overlooked for his work on songs like Can't Help Falling in Love. This track represents Presley as a heartthrob, competing with the great vocalists of the era such as Frank Sinatra. He takes a chance in changing genres and succeeds here with a more intimate performance. Like a river flows, surely to the sea, darling, so it goes, some things are meant to be. Originally featured on the album and film Blue Hawaii, the single followed the performer throughout his heyday as a live act. It became the go-to closer for his impressive stage shows and was one of the best reminders of the artist's dramatic hold on an audience. While Hound Dog showcases his hip-swinging attitude, this choice puts the vocalist in touch with his emotional side. Number 6. Smells Like Teen Spirit, Nirvana <music> Smells Like Teen Spirit pulls all of Nirvana's musical genius into an exciting single. The song is built around a simple guitar riff and the songwriting prowess of Kurt Cobain. No track better explained the grunge movement, with its rock and punk influences shining in every note. Girls' drums rumble and rattle throughout, in a cacophonous mix of ferocity and skillful playing. Cobain's lyrics are another standout as they sneak up on listeners with their interpretative lines. The singer screams the final lines with every ounce of strength he has left, securing his place in music history. Number 5. I Will Always Love You, Whitney Houston If I should stay, I would only be in your way Whitney Houston's defining performance still stuns listeners decades after it first hit the charts. The singer's cover of Dolly Parton's classic redefines the peak of musical performance in any genre, shattering expectations with her impeccable voice. This single off of the Bodyguard soundtrack took an already successful career and elevated it far beyond anyone's comprehension. Houston does 
justice to Parton's deeply emotional words in a recording that will forever exemplify the concept of making something your own. Some people have chased the song for many years, but absolutely no one has ever come close to this version. Number 4. Beat It, Michael Jackson On the album Thriller, Michael Jackson hit a massive milestone as a solo artist. Beat It is one piece of the legendary pop puzzle that also includes Billie Jean and the title track. The singer infuses rock elements into a huge single for all audiences to enjoy, working closely with iconic producer Quincy Jones in the control room. Steve Lukather from Toto lays down the memorable guitar riff with gusto, not to be outdone by Eddie Van Halen's equally fun solo stylings. Jackson is on top of the world at this moment, and showing he has an inventive songwriting ability to match his vocal talents. Number 3. Bohemian Rhapsody, Queen Baba, just killed a man, put a gun against his head, pulled my trigger, now he's dead. An epic song to shame all others, Bohemian Rhapsody is Queen's magnum opus. Their virtuoso talents come together for several thrilling sections. Beginning with the vocal harmonies in Phase 1, the band showcases their singing abilities before Freddie Mercury takes over. Mama, ooh, mean to make you cry. If I'm not back again this time tomorrow. The track transitions from a piano ballad to an operatic section that invokes Scaramouche without missing a beat. It all builds to a hard rock climax that each and every member heightens with their respective instruments. Mercury's writing has all the respectability of a fine symphony, making it one of the more influential compositions in popular culture. Number 2. Let It Be, The Beatles When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. In one of the Beatles' final releases, they issued a sobering ballad about finding strength in the darkest moments. Paul McCartney starts the song with a piano as he summons the memory of his mother. The haunting lyrics give hope to all listeners, reminding them that there's always a better day ahead of them. Let it be, let it be, let it be. McCartney takes the lead on this number and gives one of his greatest vocal performances in a career that also includes stunning writing on pieces like Yesterday. There's a shadow hanging over me Oh, yesterday came suddenly It feels almost effortless as he pours his heart out, never stretching too far to find the right words. Many Beatles tracks could have taken this place. But Let It Be works best as an encapsulation of the group's larger message of peace. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Hallelujah. Leonard Cohen. I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do you? Released in the
the 1980s, Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah has a timeless quality that could work in any era. Cohen's enigmatic words transcend spiritual and philosophical ideas, using biblical phrases to discuss the complexities of life and love. She tied you to a kitchen chair. And she broke your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips she drew the hallelujah. Hallelujah. His deep and resonant voice brings a unique energy to the original version, embracing the imperfections and blemishes in his delivery. Many artists have spent the following decades paying tribute to this track. It has the capacity to adapt to almost any other singer's style, making stars out of singers such as Jeff Buckley. Remember when I moved in you, and the holy dove was moving too, and every breath we drew was hallelujah. The underlying poetry of the lyrics and the innovative melody are nearly unmatched in their grandeur. Hallelujah. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.